Hi everyone, my name is Chris and I'll be giving you a real-time demonstration on how I plan to research, write, produce, and direct a film using the techniques outlined in the Guerrilla Project Filmmaking Challenge. I'll perform each challenge in front of you so you can follow along. I love the Guerrilla Project for two reasons. Number one, they're the only organization I know who will never ask for money. They believe the content creation is the best way to increase people's awareness about protecting gorillas and preserving their habitat. They plan to create a feature-length film in 2022 and they're building a network of like-minded creatives to help with the project. The filmmaking challenge is almost like a free online film school. Each challenge deals with each stage of the filmmaking process. I invite you to follow along with me through each video and hopefully we can work together simultaneously and create something interesting. So the first step is the easiest. Right here, you notice that there's a link somewhere in this posting right here. This will take you to gorillaproject.org. So click that and I recommend the first thing you do is watch the interactive film. It was uh, made by yours truly. We went to the, the to the jungles of uh, Gabon. It's a country in Central Africa. We went through all through all kinds of adventures and misadventures. It's actually a very exciting film, and it's a choose your own adventure film where the objective is to choose the right path that will get you to see the gorillas in their natural habitat. So the Gorilla Project, like I said, we shot it in Gabon. You'll enjoy it a lot. When you're done watching that, there'll be either a link in the film that says join us, or you can click this button right here or in other parts of the website as well. So you'll find the button right here, click it, join us, click the start button, and a questionnaire will, will appear. All right, so then the next step is you're going to get an email. So let me see, let's see if we could do this in real time, let's see. You hear that? The email came super, super quick. So I'm going to click it. It's too hard to show it on the screen, but you'll get an email asking you to confirm your email address. Boom. So then that arrived. And then once you confirm your email address, you'll get another email very shortly. So this is basically, I'll drag it over. This basically is what the first email it will look like and how it works is they're going to send you a challenge a new challenge in the email then they will send you the next one after you've submitted your work so this approach allows you to move on at your own pace and to encourage you to hand in your work and to receive your next assignment as they say in the email it's a great opportunity to hone your skills uh, expand your network and share your work with the world. In addition, they're using the filmmaking challenge as a recruiting tool for people to hire for their upcoming feature film. So that's another incentive uh, to do your best work. So let's take a look at the first email I've received. Okay, so here we go. They mentioned that you might be anxious to pick up a camera to shoot something, but without a good story, the film will fall flat. And I agree with that. So the first set of assignments will help you through the steps of creating a compelling dramatic narrative. You'll learn how to produce ideas, do research, uh, invent compelling characters, map out the story, improve the plot, and create an outline or treatment for the screenplay. Let's get started with the warm up exercise. So it involves research. And knowing how to do proper research will help you develop the ideas for the story, especially for people who don't know all of the facts about such a complicated subject. So there's a link to two videos and a Dropbox folder containing some research materials about gorillas. They recap the assignment by saying step one is to rewatch the interactive film, read an article about producing ideas, and then step two will be to post a link to your ideas and submit them to this submission form. So I presume that step one and step two don't include the preliminary steps of choosing credible sources and then checking out the folder with the research folder. So what I'm going to do is stop this video here and in the next video, I'll show myself doing the first assignment so we can all do it together. So I'll see you on the next video.